We all know that many companies continue to innovate to make a better battery. But do you know? With increasingly modern technology, now robots and AI are also helping to develop better batteries. A group of scientists at Carnegie Mellon University has developed a system that could lead to faster charging and longer-lasting batteries. According to their findings in the journal Nature Communications, the team discusses how they combined a special kind of robot with an AI learning system to produce ever more useful electrolytes. So how exactly AI could possibly do to make this happen? Welcome to Evolutionary. Stay tuned until the end, as we are going to discuss everything you should know about this AI system. Needs of Advanced Batteries Demand for batteries that last longer and charge more quickly has increased along with the explosive growth in mobile device sales and the shift toward electric vehicles by auto manufacturers. Unfortunately, the science of creating new batteries to meet such demands has lagged. Normally, chemists must apply their intuition while being persistent. These initiatives can take years as researchers must test a wide range of potential components. This is challenged by the requirement to accomplish numerous conflicting objectives, such as longer lifespan, more capacity, quicker charging, and enhanced safety. The kind of lithium-ion battery you might find in a Tesla EV may have one primary typically lithium hexafluorophosphate, as well as two or three liquid solvents in which the salt is dissolved, and one or two secret additives said Jay Whitaker, an energy technologist at Carnegie Mellon University. There are many compelling potential combinations of all these components, potentially with multiple salts, five or six or more solvents, multiple additives, which can be incredibly complicated to rifle through. Making a better battery is not that easy. Various combinations of the right mixture are needed to get the best results. In this new research, the Pittsburgh experts used automation tools in an effort to quicken the process. Clio, the smart robotic system. Around the beginning of 2022, researchers at Carnegie Mellon University employed a robotic system to conduct numerous tests to create electrolytes that would allow lithium-ion batteries to charge more quickly, overcoming one of the main barriers to the mainstream usage of electric vehicles. The Clio, which is a system of automated pumps, valves, and instruments mixed a variety of solvents, salts, and other chemicals together before evaluating the performance of the resulting solution against the battery standards. These outcomes were then fed into the Dragonfly machine learning system, which used the information to suggest various chemical combinations that would function even better. Whitaker compares it to mixing peanut butter with chocolate and said, I'm the experimentalist who has always wanted to find a way to mix up chemicals for batteries in an automated way. In this study, the system experimented on its own with the solvents ethylene carbonate, ethyl methyl carbonate, and dimethyl carbonate, as well as the lithium hexafluorophosphate salt. A salt dissolves in one or more solvents to create a liquid electrolyte in a lithium ion battery. Lithium ions migrate between electrolytes in order to carry electric charge. The robotic system employed pumps to introduce different mixtures of solvents into pouches that contained a graphite anode and a lithium nickel manganese cobalt oxide cathode. According to Wetecker, the system decided what to do. There wasn't a person telling the system what to do. In a total of 42 experiments over two working days, the system autonomously identified six electrolytes that enable faster charging than a conventional electrolyte composition. The most effective one revealed a 13% improvement over the best baseline battery cell. This method came up with a new chemical six times faster than it probably would have through a random search. While Clio and Dragonfly are still in their infancy, the experiment shows that robots can contribute to the development of a better battery, which may be what we need to power the future. Why should we use AI? Developing better electrolytes is crucial for improving the performance, safety, and cost of batteries. Faster batteries help reduce the discomfort of lengthy wait times at charging stations, which is crucial for making electric automobiles and trucks more appealing. In order to create materials that are best suited for specific purposes, research labs have recently been increasingly combining automated systems with machine learning software, which discovers data patterns to improve at specified jobs. These techniques have been used by researchers to find potential materials for solar photovoltaic cells, solid-state electrolytes, and electrochemical catalysts. Chemify and Ionix are two startups that have emerged to commercialize the methodology. In the past, 
experts in the field of materials discovery have developed and evaluated choices using a combination of instinct, reason, speculation, and trial and error. However, the sheer number of compounds and possible combinations makes it a challenging and time-consuming process that might lead researchers in a number of misguided directions. The appealing feature of a system like Clio and Dragonfly is that it can systematically apply what it learns while working through a greater range of possibilities than human researchers can. The researchers remark that compared to a typical human operator, their system probably performs more experimental measurements each day and utilizes around 30% as much lab equipment. They claim that in the future, their approach might end up being 20 to 1,000 times more effective than hiring individuals to do this work. Dragonfly doesn't have any understanding of chemistry or batteries, so its recommendations are unbiased only in the sense that the researchers chose the first mixture, according to Venkat Viswanathan, who is an associate professor at CMU. From then, it tries a wide range of combinations, ranging from slight modifications of the original to wholly novel ideas, before zeroing in on a combination of elements that consistently outperforms its predetermined objectives. The Carnegie Mellon team was searching for an electrolyte to shorten the battery recharge time in the context of battery research. In a battery, the electrolyte solution facilitates the movement of ions where atoms with a net charge as a result of the loss or gain of an electron between the two electrodes. Lithium ions are produced at the anode, the negative electrode, during discharge, and they move through the liquid toward the cathode, the positive electrode, where they pick up electrons. This happens in the opposite direction while charging. Ionic conductivity, or how easily ions move through a solution, is one of the crucial measurements Clio studied and attempted to optimize. This factor directly impacts how quickly a battery can recharge. Commercial electrolytes face the additional problem of having to perform well across a range of parameters, such as total life cycles, power output, and safety, and advancements in one area can come at the expense of others. The researchers plan to speed up the robotic experiments in their upcoming work, improve the machine learning tools, and conduct tests with several goals rather than just one performance target. In the fight to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, it is hoped that automation and machine learning can hasten the identification of the next generation of groundbreaking materials, resulting in better batteries, more effective photovoltaics, and other advancements. Chemix, the next EV battery. There is another startup that utilizes AI to advance more quickly, namely Chemix. Glow-in-the-dark devices that resemble servers in a data center operate inside a facility in the San Francisco Bay Area to test various battery chemistries physically. The company's software platform, called Mix, uses the data to speed up the iteration process by using it to assist develop new versions for testing. In the past, Co-founder and CEO Kaixiang Lin worked on battery design as a doctoral student at Harvard, a postdoc at Stanford, and at another battery business. It's suggesting new molecules for us to test on a daily basis, Lin explains. We refer to this approach as battery R&D on autopilot, because there is hardly any human involvement. According to him, the system needs around six months to design new batteries that can outperform commercially available batteries by an average of 300%. The business collaborates directly with EV producers looking for superior options. A battery for the off-road electric motorbikes made by the New Zealand-based company UBCO will be one of its first goods to hit the market. They desire to create a bicycle without the usage of a contentious metal like cobalt. By omitting nickel, another metal whose mining harms the environment, the new battery design went above and beyond. Over the next few decades, demand is anticipated to increase up to 40 times due to nickel's current application in batteries. Later this year, Chemex will introduce a new battery made for use in any electric sports vehicle or motorcycle. When a product meets customer performance goals, it is put on the market, but the system is constantly striving to create better products. Lin claims that improvement is ongoing. Therefore, even before the first product is shipped, work on the next generation of performance has already begun. To make its designs a reality, the firm is collaborating with manufacturers. Without altering the machinery and battery manufacturing, the materials used in each design can be substituted for the ones now in use. Instead of inventing a new manufacturing technique, which Lin believes would be risky, 
we can leverage the existing lithium-ion battery manufacturing process and scale our recipe and formulation at record speed. Robots have proven themselves how to contribute to better batteries, namely faster charging, longer life span, and other superior performance. They can work much more efficiently and accurately than using human resources. Many studies continue to be carried out to optimize the workings of robots so that they can be implemented en masse, like what Chimix is currently doing. Final word, what do you think about using AI in this battery optimization? Are they really our future? Share your opinion in the comment section below, and don't forget to give a like and subscribe to get news around EVs weekly.